You're not applying that acrylic paint with your hands, are you? You mean you're just scooping it up off the palette with your bare hands and you're just smooshing it all over the canvas? That's your plan? So you heard what? You heard it doesn't matter because acrylic paint is non-toxic? <coughs> Hello my friends, David Kessler here and welcome back to the studio. A common myth about acrylic paint is that it is non-toxic. Well, you have to sort of think about what is toxicity and how is it that paint companies actually determine the toxicity of paint and how, they, how do they determine whether it's hazardous to your health or not hazardous to your health. You have to keep in mind that some paint is made with heavy metals. For instance, cadmium, chromium, cobalt. These are heavy metals that are highly toxic and can be considered carcinogens. Most acrylic pigments these days are made from man-made organic materials that simulate the color uh, and their richness that the heavy metals impart. They mimic the color and the richness that you get from using the heavy metals. Let me read a couple of labels for you. One contains cobalt. Cobalt turquoise. This is a golden paint, but most manufacturers have the same wording on their products. Warning, this product contains a chemical known to the state of California to cause cancer. To ensure safety, avoid ingestion, excessive skin contact, and inhalation of spraying mist, sanding dusts, and concentrated vapors. So if it's found in California to be carcinogen, then most likely here in North Carolina where I live, it would be a carcinogen as well. All right, and here's one from a man-made pigment, which is a hue, manganese blue hue. There are no currently known health hazards associated with anticipated use. Most chemicals are not fully tested for chronic toxicity. To ensure safety, avoid ingestion, excessive skin contact, and inhalation of spraying mist, sanding dusts, and concentrated vapors. Now, while acrylic paint is water-based and has no real toxic fumes, if it's sanded or if it's sprayed, those particles can get into your lungs and be very toxic to your health. Also, and I know this specifically for Golden, and I'm sure this holds true for other paint brands, the toxicity level tested by the companies, whether it says this is toxic, which has heavy metals in it, or this does not have any safety uh, concerns, you have to remember that those tests are done at the end of a paintbrush. The paint is tested at the end of a paintbrush for its level of toxicity. It's not, it's not tested or measured with skin contact. Right? It's not measured with skin contact. Now, I personally know two artists, one was an oil painter, one was an acrylic painter. Well, let me say three artists. One worked in watercolor, one worked in oil and acrylic, and the other worked in strictly oil. All three died from toxicity poisoning or, and or had cancer from toxicity point, uh, poisoning from paint. Uh, while we may consider acrylic paint and or watercolor paint because it's water-based to be non-toxic, keep in mind it's measured and tested at the end of the paintbrush. It's not tested on your skin or in your mouth or in your hair or anything else. So just be careful out there when you're painting. And I would recommend not ever using your hands as a paintbrush or a palette knife. 
as a substitute for a paintbrush or a palette knife. Now I use, you know, my fingers regularly, regularly when I paint, um, but I don't paint with my hands. I mean, I paint with a paintbrush for the most part. I also use a hand barrier cream uh, before I paint, which helps form a barrier between your skin and the paint, making it much easier to be removed when you finish. Um, so just protect yourself. Be aware that there are toxic chemicals present in some paints. If you have cadmium yellow, cadmium red, um, there's cadmium in there. Unless it says cadmium red hue or cadmium yellow hue, meaning that it's, it's made from organic chemistry as opposed to with man-made materials and man-made pigments as opposed to heavy metals used for the pigment. Um, so just protect yourself. Be aware of what you're doing. Make sure you're safe. Wear gloves if you want to wear gloves. And then if you wear gloves like nitrile gloves when you're painting, then you can feel free to smoosh it around on the canvas with your hands without having to worry about the chemicals in the paint getting into your skin. Right? So be careful out there. Protect yourself. Be a responsible painter. The other thing that I want to mention is I talked to a lot of artists it's, it's all the thing now with the pouring paint and all of this is resin using resin uh, there's polymer resin and then there's another kind of resin i can't even remember what it's called which is a newer epoxy resin the epoxy resin is supposed to be safer the polyester resin which is an older type resin is very toxic and requires you know breathing apparatus and a lot of ventilation and that sort of thing and people think this epoxy resin is safe I'm here to tell you the epoxy resin is not safe if you're not protecting protecting yourself from that epoxy resin if you're using that stuff it's highly toxic all right I mean because you're breathing those fumes in and when it's drying it's off gassing those fumes I mean, and I know people that don't use any breathing apparatus. They don't do anything to protect themselves. So I'm here to tell you, protect yourself. Be safe as a painter. Don't let this stuff kill you. It's not worth it, right? It's not worth it. It's not worth being on a fad bandwagon uh, and not protecting yourself. You know, your life is not worth that. So be careful out there. Protect yourself. Know what you're doing. Know what you're using and minimize your skin contact no matter what kind of paint you're using and you'll live a lot longer you'll have a lot more fun and you'll be safer hope this was helpful for you and i'll see you in the next video thanks